dawn is my favorite time of day to travel. And part of the reason is I'm an early riser, so that's no stretch for me. But also, the animals that are active at night, the nocturnal ones, might still be lingering. And I've had a chance to see some that haven't quite gone to bed yet. But the other reason is there's a lot of animals that are active during the day. And I see better during the day. They see better during the day. Those are the diurnal animals. So there's a good reason for me to be out just as it's crusting from one time to the other. And so, plus I get to see a beautiful sunrise. <laughs> There's nothing that can beat that. So join me on my walk today. This is something I love to do and it feels great to be able to bring along some company, people who can enjoy this from the comfort of your home and tune in anytime, even if you're not an early riser. <laughs> This early morning schedule is amazing. Right? Everybody's excited about this beautiful sunny morning. But the bonus is we get to see the sunrise. Right? Yeah, it's a beautiful time of day and it's that transition, right? Where nighttime creatures are going to sleep and daytime ones are just waking up. We can hear some woodpeckers up ahead. So there's a lot of activity. I think the animals are actually just getting ready and, and excited for spring. Now it's just early February right now, but it's something where they're doing their planning and, and hormones start changing with the growing day length. So we start hearing more and more activity from the animals. So we'll continue on our journey this morning and see what kind of interesting sights there are ahead of us. Deer.
So I'm looking at an immature eagle and it's in a tree across the way. And what I look for is a break in the pattern of the branches and the foliage around. So in this case, I'm gonna show you the back of the camera. And my hope is you're able to see a small dot, but if you were to look in the tree itself, everything around is brown. And immature bald eagles have various amounts of brown on them until they turn to the adult coloration of the white head and the white tail. So have a look at the tree and see if you can pick out the eagle without the help of the camera. So hopefully that example shows how when you just scan the area, when you're out looking for signs of wildlife, just look to see if there's a break in the pattern. And that's actually how predators hunt. So a lot of times uh, there might be prey species that turn color. So they match the surroundings if it's snow or the reddish color that deer become when it's uh, the growing season. Uh, prey camouflage according to the colors um, of the season and, and so do predators kind of a cool thing. I just love standing still and listening. The blue jays, there's woodpeckers. Pretty cool. When there's a uh, some mobbing behavior going on, which is where things like blue jays or crows make a lot of noise and gather around a particular uh, animal. It's often a predator, maybe a bird of prey. I always pay attention when they're making a lot of noise because I want to see what it is they're tuned into and maybe, uh, you know, make another interesting sighting. But unfortunately, they're sometimes making those sounds because they're in distress. Uh, something might be um, maybe going after their, you know, um, their young or their mate. But uh, unfortunately, that's how things work in nature. Something's always wanting to eat. And sometimes that means animals themselves are the ones getting eat eaten.
But in this case here, I think we're just hearing some family squabbles. Well, this pretty well wraps up today's walk. I really appreciate your joining me. Thanks a lot for taking the time today to hike with Kathleen. If you like what you're seeing on these videos, please take the time to subscribe or click like or submit a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks again. Bye for now. Mustache too. <laughs> it's like drinking milk. Get a milk mustache.